New evidence may link O.J. Simpson to the murders of his ex-wife and another man. A loss in the Stanley Cup final sends hockey fans in Vancouver on a rampage, but they are celebrating in New York after the Rangers end a 54-year drought. This is the CBS Morning News for Wednesday, the 15th of June. Good morning, everyone. I'm Monica Gale. Evidence linking former football star O.J. Simpson with the murders of his ex-wife and another man appears to be mounting. The Los Angeles Times reports an arrest could be made in the next few days. John Blackstone has the latest. While O.J. Simpson remains secluded, more rumors swirl. The Los Angeles Times reported this morning that bloodstains found in his driveway and his car could link him to the killings. Police have not ruled him out as a suspect. Oh, we're not speculating on arrest or when it'll occur or who would be uh, a potential suspect at this point, no. Autopsies are now complete, but investigators are saying only that Simpson's former wife, Nicole, and her friend, Ronald Goldman, were stabbed to death. The cause of death on, on, on Mr. Goldman and Ms. Simpson are found to be multiple sharp force injuries and stab wounds. O.J. and Nicole Simpson had two children, and a history of trouble in their marriage. He was charged with beating her in 1989. They divorced two years ago. A psychotherapist who treated Nicole Simpson briefly described her as a classic battered woman. To the best of my recollection, she told me of several incidents where he said, you know, I'm going to kill you. If I can't have you, I'm going to kill you. Simpson's family and friends have been gathering to show support. Uh, I just hope for the best he's been a good friend. And on radio call-in shows across the country, many did not want to believe this could be happening to O.J. Simpson. Is it possible? Is it true? How do you think the media has handled this story? In Los Angeles, even Simpson's attorney called in. There were media surrounding the house, lights on the house. It is just a pathetic and sad comment on uh, what journalism locally and nationally has become today it's basically tabloid as a football star a spokesman and an actor oj simpson has spent most of his life in the public eye but never as painfully as he is now john blackstone cbs news los angeles former president jimmy carter has begun a four-day effort to defuse